CEOs? Should we change? Should we receive more foreign CEOs for better? Or? Yeah. Do you think after my experience they're going to be queuing up? <laughs> <laughs> well, generally speaking. I think, no, seriously, it's a serious question. And mm -hmm. if I can answer it, what would be sad again if the person from. Uh, who said, would you go back? If, if I said I'm prepared to go back and I'm not wanted because I've shaken the tree and the monkeys have fallen out and, and a few gorillas, um, <laughs> and I'm not harmonious. I wouldn't run a corporation in a harmonious way, be it in America, UK. If you look at the UK company, for example, that one best company to work for twice by the Sunday Times, you know, it's, it's renowned for its social... Uh, giving so it's you know people like working in the company in in Hamburg uh, people it, you know and if you look at our manufacturing company it was called Olympus Winter and Eby they are very good companies Salon in Berlin very good companies um, so you know you can run a company and be a nice place to work but you can be challenging and questioning so if Japan doesn't want me then has Japan changed Really, Japan needs, it doesn't have to be me personally, but it does need people who are going to challenge, scrutinize, say, why are we doing that? We should stop that. We should put more into that. Very basic stuff. And I think in Japan, just the way the meetings worked at Olympus, everything was pre-decided outside of the meeting. So even the meeting where we were looking to scrutinize and make a decision, it was pre-decided that anyone who'd met me or the chairman was in a really funny position to try and make a different decision to that what had been agreed outside the, the meeting room. So um, I think you should have a business consultancy advocating what you're saying, and I think you'd make a lot of money. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. One final question. Süddeutsche Zeitung, Germany, uh, Neidhardt. In hindsight, uh, you, you have been quoted that you didn't think of learning Japanese before you became CEO. Now, it's so easy to play tricks on you if you don't understand what they're talking about in a boardroom. So in hindsight, do you think this was a wrong assessment? Would you uh, think a CEO, a foreign CEO in Japan should learn Japanese? I think if you speak Japanese, it's fantastic. You know, Often, though, people who run businesses don't speak Japanese. And... Uh, that's just a fact. And then you have to, if there's a, if, if there's two Michael Woodfords or two Jonathan Sobels, and one speaks English and one speaks Japanese, and you want one of them to run a Japanese company, choose the Japanese person. Absolutely. Uh, but I think uh, a Japanese person would have had it very similar in relation to things being hidden. I mean, the auditors didn't find it, did they? So and they're Japanese. So I think language. I mean, I, I, I'm a, a apologies. The, the British are the worst in the world of foreign languages. Um, worst in the world, and uh, that's a shame on the nation, and I, I, I'm an example of that. Uh, uh, my wife is Spanish, and uh, so I'm, I'm not an Anglophile. But um, I think what Japan wants, and like any society, if you look at European com companies that be run by Germans, Frenchmen, Italian, British, American, Chinese, um, Korean, Brazilian, um, what Japan should be doing looking around the world, looking for the best human resource, and it's a horrible expression, and appointing that person. Language is a factor. I don't think it's a, you know, I don't think it's a prerequisite. I don't think Carlos Goen speaks Japanese. I don't think Howard Stringer speaks Japanese. I don't think Craig Naylor speaks uh, Japanese. Does he? So it's a horribly difficult language. Jonathan was saying last night, so much of it is unstructured. You have to just learn. You can't get it from a book. So uh, yes. Um, it would be much better if I spoke ja uh, Japanese. Um, the trouble is there's not many accomplished businessmen who do speak Japanese, so it's, it's a compromise you have to make. But it'd be sad if no more gaijings come. We've come to the end. What's most important for the, everyone here is that please stay seated while our guest leaves. But before he does, it is a tradition at the Foreign Correspondent Club of Japan to make all of our speakers an honorary member for one year. So we hope you can enjoy our bar, hang out with us, have a good time. Sounds and good. And we hope to see you again in Japan. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.